Hi there. Well, we're about to start this nice big one next to me. Lovely scene. Um, and what I've been looking forward to doing, because it's nice and large, I can play around with the uh, and experiment with the paint a bit more on the textures and the techniques. So, let's, without much more ado, let's get into this and uh, really see if I can take this a little stage further, shall we? And have some great fun. It all is very abstract to start with, and as you think about it, most figurative painting obviously contains the abstract, doesn't it? It's going to be abstract, because it's got abstract shapes and qualities in it, of dimension, of form, um, of colour intensity and tone. All of the things that we're painting about in figurative painting has abstract qualities. Mixing these colours up in nice slabs. Just got to get the tones almost exactly right if we can. And that might, in this case, mean adding a little bit of magenta, a lot more white, a little touch more yellow in that. Subtle differences in the colours. We've got to find them to get them right. A little more pink. Just very subtle colour changes. The paint out of the brush, use it all up. There we are. Almost identical to the previous one. And of course you're able, with this GoPro camera, to actually get the view that I'm getting. 
just rather fun to actually share the painting and almost in reality. Reality TV, wow. Grey. Let's see if we can get that colour going. Let's put some more white out, I think. And it's a lovely sort of blue grey, so we'll we'll take some of this colour and add some magenta to it. It's already almost there. Look. See the colour there? A little bit lighter. Put some green into it. We've actually got the colour there, let's test it and see. Yes, I think we'll get a bit more white there. there we go. So back to making this grey again, we need a lot more of it, so some of that blue. A little bit of the magenta. Give us this blue grey, beautiful pink blue grey. Test it again. Well, that's about right. Yes. We can use all the paint up. See, we don't want to skimp on it, but neither do we want to waste it. Which means we may need it coming through later. See colours in something, just put them in. Go through all my paints to find the colours I want. So I keep a good amount of acrylics in. So we're using quite a bit of paint for this job. Nice big blob. Don't be mean with your paint. No point in being mean with paint, even if you waste a little bit. It uh, it spoils your painting if you try to, to thin it down and use too little. Alright, carrying on with this painting, and uh, got the greys just about in. Some yellow ochre, and a little touch of burnt umber. Deeper golden colour and a wee touch of green just to bring it back a bit because that colour look is, is closer to the green so it's surprising it only takes a small amount of colour sometimes to change something to make it right and there we go a bit more of that green there that's better let's try that on the roller In light brown colour now. We're building up these Prussian blue greys at the moment. Working these darks up. Even from these chairs, we can start to build up a bit now. Just get some of the colours going in. The edge of the roller.
bit more of that grey that we had earlier. Blue, and a little touch of magenta. And I just want to a little touch of yellow, I just want to over, overlay that just a little bit. Now at last I'm going to move to my black, um, I've got other colours to work in between but this is just to really start to pull out these shapes and uh, you know, give an indication of what the thing's going to look like eventually.
And it's amazing how much we can do just with the rollers only. Rollers aren't putting the right shapes in the right places, I keep saying. It's a lovely thing to do, it's a lovely way to paint, it really is gorgeous doing this sort of work. Plenty of black now. Really going to lather it on. If I let it dry and work up with the brushes more. So the closing stages of the underpainting thing to do. Letting the colours just glow through underneath a bit and back. Come back and tart around this later. I've got to get these shapes in. Just hint at these things going on in the background at the moment. We'll come back with a bit more detail later. All I want is this the major shapes at the moment. as far as I can go with the, the darks at the moment. But there we go. Just get a feel of it. And then we need to start working up with the brushes, I think. Now, what fun, eh? So we'll leave that for the moment and come back when it's dry. Right, now it's time to uh, Continue with the brushes, we've got enough I think done with the rollers, we now want to start picking out more details, even though it's quite fun and lovely loose as it is, I um, really want to pull it together a bit more, and then we've got all these chairs and things to do as well, so what brushes am I going to need? Um, I think medium filbert, like this should do the job to start with, right, I'll start, it's hard to know when you come back into a thing like this, but we'll start with a cool reflection going on here in the and the colours vary from a, a light blue to a light pink. So let's start with this colour here. And also a smaller brush. And make it a little more pink this one. A little bit of yellow into that and a wee touch of the pink. Let's see if that gives us a nice little colour there. There we go, we're just indicating them still, we're not going into too much detail, just feeling these shapes and making them a little bit stronger. I couldn't do them this small with the with the roller, so I'm going to have to come back with the brushes and just just tickle them in with the brushes. Last a bit of paint there, something. We've got all of these um, lovely darks of the chairs put in yet as well. Not going very soon. I just need to get smaller brushes. There's another filbert. Um, that's a lovely colour. That I put it on my brush. Just look at his face. Just needs bringing out a bit here, I think. Even small bits of colour can make such a difference. Here's what we have to find at the moment. These little bits of colour that must make a difference in uh, shape or form, light and dark. And how it cools go against the warms here as well. There's a lovely blue against a bit of red just there. 
and under the table here. Much stronger ultramarine just coming out under his arm. Quite important. Be lightened up a bit. Let's have a look at that lovely flesh colour, which will be actually more yellow ochre, a touch of white. To a hand here, we'll just give her a more flesh tone to a hand here. It's on the edge of her hair too. It comes down around that hair into a hand here. A bit more depth. Not less, but more. And that still reminds me of what I was saying earlier, where this very good artist friend of mine from France said, um, less is more. Quite right. I don't want to overdo it, it becomes illustrative. Such beautiful variations of colours going on under here as well, which we've got to really look for. Really look for these colours. Well, it's on your brush, if you see it somewhere, put it in. Too many of these details, it's not getting bogged down. I'm not careful, I don't want to start putting crossing T's and dotting I's at this stage. Oh, it's distracting, which that is far too distracting. I'll go back over that one with, some, with the glaze of white. Now, what I have got to do is start building up these delicious darks, so a very deep blue and a black. Let's start on these chairs when you get these going. Scratch it back if I need to. There's such an integral part of the design that we have to get these right. drawing as I go along so I've lost the original drawing of course so that's not that easy. And you can see what I mean about working as loosely as this. Gradually building up shape by shape. I was saying by us being in control we can stop when we want. We can say that's done or I want to do more. I'd say we'd almost finished this piece now. Uh, it's still nice and loose. I don't want to go much tighter than that. Um, it's just a few things to tidy up here and there. Just checking for highlights. Just checking for anything that just needs a little more tightening up. Um, but I don't think I want to do much. I mean, there are areas I could, I could dot the uh, I's on and cross the T's on. But I really don't want to overdo it. We'll just take a little bit more light here and there. Not much. Just a little. Just, a, just in some areas like that. Where uh, it might just be nice to get a little more reflection, say, from those lights. And one or two places out here that need maybe a little lightening up more bits of colour just here and there just to play a bit more with the light. Don't want to overdo it like I say, in fact that's almost too much then. I'll take that back a bit. And while I'm on those little bits of light, just put them around here. And I think for the moment at least I shall leave it leave it there. 
just these last little bits of reflection and light I want to pick up. I haven't quite got in here. And then we'll just try and indicate some of these little bits of menu and, and light in the background here. People and just to finish it off. There we go, I think that'll do it.